I do have a cat. I'm so glad to have him too. What is absolutely amazing is I had no idea that he was here. It's Tevan Gumi, everyone. The one and only. Of the new most handsome beast of a male leopard around here. He really is stunning. Oh, I love those spots on his belly. They're so large. And anyway, what is amazing is I had nothing to go on, so I just decided let's try and look for him. And it seems at the moment when I asked on the Game Drive radio if there had been any updates so I can follow up, someone just said, oh, he's here at Sydney's Dam. So how awesome is that? I think that's very, very fortunate for him to be here and for them, everyone, to be able to tell us just at the perfect moment when we're trying to look for him, that he's right here. <laughs> I'm so glad. It's really, really relaxing. So we've been finding him a lot in this area, as well as um, even close to Gallagher Pan. So his range is really moving, but not just it almost seems that we haven't we haven't had enough sightings with him to for him to be for his territory and our eyes to be well defined to know exactly where he's moving. Also remember he came from Singita, so that's a, a while away. DeAndre, you'd like to know how do we identify him? So for me he's a new leopard. For me this is the first time that I'm seeing Tavan Gumi. But if you look on if he lifts up his head again, on the right side of his head, he's got quite a unique on the other side of it, quite a unique row of spots. Look at that, down from his eye. That's quite an easy one to go with. The other thing is that he's a 2-2 male, so you don't get many 2-2 males here. The other 2-2 male that is likely to be in this area would maybe be Shasha, but that's further south. And in Shlangula. But in Songula, I can see his face looks different. The other thing that I find about Tavan Gumi is that he's got a very striking face in the sense of his eyes. His eyes are really, really striking. They're quite yellow. And they're quite big. But as you, we spend time more, spend more time with him and you spend more time with him, you'll realize that there's so many features of his and any other cat that you will see and you'll actually be able to tell who they are, not because of their spot pattern, but because you get used to their faces. The other thing with him is that his belly spots are, are very big. See those black spots? The non-rosetted spots? Very big. Sandy, you say he's just too gorgeous. He is, isn't he? I'm in awe of him because this is the first time that I'm seeing him. I've heard so much about him. I remember last and he was just around this area, like maybe a couple days before the stint ended and um, uh, Tristan had found him. And he's usually in a spot that has really bad signal, but luckily for us, which is why we're not very close to him, we're up on the damn wall, which means that we can actually broadcast this, which I think is very, very special. Look at that. Look at that. So beautiful. I'm also really glad that we managed to get you before we needed to use the IR light because then the reach will be a lot a lot more different and we won't be able to see him as prettily. But once it gets darker, we're going to have to shift into the black and white in order to view him. But maybe we can get a little bit closer to him so we can actually see him properly. But we'll wait and take advantage of this light as much as possible first. Can you hear the monkey's alarm calling in the background?
really, really beautiful wood. I'm going to try and make my way down and see if we'll still be able to to broadcast it to you, which would be ideal. Oh, oh, he's big. Oh, that's nice to see. Oh, wow. Oh, please come onto the damn wall. Oh, look at that reflection. Yes. This is the stuff that safaris are made of. The faint light of the setting sun. That reflection in the water. Oh, yes, this boy is coming up to the damn wall. Now what do you decide? 